Tyler, have you yes. been out running lately? I have. I have. I've been running a little bit. And uh, thanks to Aardvark, they got me some inserts that saved my – I pronate. Well, I, didn't know, I didn't know what that word meant prior to walking in the store. And now, after, upon leaving, I have a full understanding and uh, inserts <laughs> well, that take it away. Because we have Sheena here from Aardvark. Um, it's Aardvark Sports Shop in downtown Bethlehem, right next to Brew Works, like right in the heart of Bethlehem. And Sheena, you're here. We're going to talk a little bit about what Aardvark's doing and maybe how people can stay in shape. But I think you're missing somebody. Yeah, actually, Andy uh, from the shop was uh, supposed to show uh, up. Um, he tends to be a little tardy to uh, <laughs> his appearance. But, um, right. I do that, too. Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Okay. I thought <laughs> I didn't. That's a little bit different than I expected. Welcome, Hi. Andy. Welcome to the show. Hmm. Andy, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Have you All been right. Out? Well, uh, Andy wasn't the one that helped me with my inserts. It was somebody I would, uh, I don't well, think that's it was. Funny. That's funny because the last time I went, Andy's the only person who waited on me. Um, really? Yeah. So, I mean, it did a great job. My, my I shoes. Feel like, I feel like working the register would be hard for Andy based on the <laughs> dexterity limitations that he has. He's not on like social media and tweeting himself. Right. He seems All right, well, like a trail of chaos. And <laughs> what, do, what do you and Andy have going on at the shop? You guys got some cool stuff happening. We do. Um, you know, I, I think nowadays a lot of people um, want to hear something fun, exciting, encouraging, um, and we want a little bit of community while we're at it. So that's basically what the shop is about. In fact, our mission statement is um, to improve lives and build community through movement. So even though we can't be in the shop serving you that way, we still want to live true to that mission statement. So we've done a number of different things. Um, we have uh, these little guys called Flat Andes. We've had them for a while. Um, and this is a way that you can kind of run together with your buddies or be separate, but still have that spirit of team Vark with you um, and do all sorts of um, <laughs> posts with or hashtag. Um, there's also a um, stay, active or stay active challenge that we started a couple weeks ago. You can join at any time and that's just 20 minutes of activity anything, anything that's trackable by Strava, which is a free app. Um, there's things from canoeing to cross country skiing, yoga. Um, so we just want to encourage people to move because moving <laughs> brings fresh oxygen, it brings therapy, it brings life to you. So I think that's one of the most um, important things in this time. Um, so 20 minutes of Strava, activity that's trackable, um, practicing our planks. So we did start a plank challenge, which we did a couple oh years ago yeah. now. It gets rowdy. <laughs> and you, you don't want to break a bone right now. And, so and practicing your planks, you have, yeah. Andy so, doesn't seem to have a problem with movement. I think I'm out there on, on social. But um, yeah, so 20 minutes of that, practice your planks, because after this is all over, we're going to have a plank off. So we have our Wednesday group runs every Wednesday, typically. And the first Wednesday of every month, we meet at the Sun Inn. We call it Run to the Sun. And we're hoping to have a plank off there. Barring there's no, you know, social distancing at a time. And we'll, we'll adjust that time. So you can definitely go on our website, see how to join that stay active, be hold, held accountable. And that's what all our running buddies do together. And that's what the community does. Um, and then just, which I'm really excited about, Andy, um, he was very excited to play his favorite game. And it just started today. It's called Artwork Tag. So. Okay, I'm it. Okay, I'm it. Um, so basically you run, walk, bike to someone's home, friend, family, neighbor, and you write tag, you're it, on their sidewalk, driveway, and chalk, and then you sign your name. So then that person has to run to someone else's home, do the same thing. It could be that same person's home, you tag the same person multiple times, and it's just a great way for people to feel connected and yeah. Yeah. have fun. <laughs> Make people get out there and move, so 
Tyler, yeah. I feel like if if Tyler woke up and somebody had in his driveway somebody had written tag and chalk, he would be so terrified. He'd be like, <laughs> yeah, "What would, does this mean?" I would I would first call the authorities for sure. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> what I'm more interested in is uh, well, Sheena, how's how's the quarantine? Are you basically? How's it going for Andy? Where is Andy staying right now during quarantine? Well, he's actually staying with me here. <laughs> How's that been going? Um, well, we'll cover his ears. A little stressful. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's trying to stay active. He gets out in the yard. He's doing his planking. And now he's excited to uh, start running around. People what? What do, art, what do art barks eat? Termites. Ooh. Oh, I mean that that comes in handy, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot, lot of a lot, lot of protein, of not a lot of fat on on termites. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. In, in all seriousness, for so much, like, it ha There are people. Um, Wait, what do you mean all seriousness? What has it been serious about this <laughs> thing? I know. Okay, I'm sorry. To continue the conversation, for people who who maybe are having a little bit of trouble staying active, whether it's because I, maybe they're afraid to go outside or their schedule's just all messed up. Like, do you guys have any advice or maybe some examples of what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, me, myself, like, movement makes me do life better. And I think that is the case for everyone, just not everyone knows it. So when you don't feel like doing it is when you need to do it the most. Yeah. Um, I, I personally, and everyone's time is different, like to work out in the morning first thing because it gets the blood moving, it gets that caffeine, that cup of coffee moving through my veins, and then it's done. I don't, I don't feel like I have to do it. Now, with the quarantine, it's definitely moved around time-wise. Um, I, I think that sticking to a schedule is probably going to be your best bet, whether you, instead of getting up at six, maybe you're getting up at nine and getting it done, but... Right. Uh, I personally do it that way. I, ha I do have a Peloton bike. So like this morning, for instance, I met a couple friends. We already arranged to meet at nine. You know, if you are social distancing six feet apart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot harder for him too. Or like I'll meet friends at the track, you know, you're just doing your own workout. Um, yeah. uh, there's a lot of apps that make it easy to kind of make challenge, like yeah. challenge hound. Like for instance, we have a stay active. So there's a challenge hound you can join and it's 20 minutes a day. So you know you have to get the 20 minutes in. We had a uh, frozen feet, um, six week frozen feet streak contest that was supposed to end, well, it did end March 16th. People are still going with that. You know what I mean? Saying, hey, I've committed to this and I'm gonna get it done. So the challenge that we have kind of gets people to do that. Um, whether it's a plank, looking forward to that plank off or, um, yeah, so that's that's basically I, I like to stay um, scheduled. So it, in in some ways that doesn't always work for people, but if there's a challenge and you want to meet that challenge, there's nothing like meeting goals. So right. and T Tyler and I are no experts, but I have read and even for myself, attempt, attempting to to keep some sort of routine. Like yeah. if you worked out every day at, at seven a.m., you know, try to fill that time maybe the same way, even if you're not going to work. And, if you're not doing that. I've been good, George. Yeah. Go I've been good. I've Tyler's been, been doing the hot yoga, yeah. Day. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I think people don't think uh, working out, like it shouldn't be drudgery, you know? I, I right. would think of it more as I get to do this. I get to move my body, not I have to. And just like you brush your teeth, you know, you take a shower, you, you take care of your body because it's the only place you have to live. But you also need to move your body. Like it helps with moving fluid. I mean, I will geek out on you because I, I you know. But it's okay. <laughs> the thing is, like, if your body needs to move, if you lose it, if you lose it, you know, if you don't move it, you lose it, and and right. organs function better. The mind functions. Better. Moving the the blood around and the oxygen. It's not just working out to get six packs or get lean but you feel good so if and i bet your i bet your snout works a lot better too yeah, after yeah. you've been out there on the trail the dnl trail get a nice five miler <laughs> <laughs> i guess that uh, snout helps with social distancing you can't get 
too close to him because of the it's not six feet long but now it's not length away Shut there you up. go oh yeah there you go so that's even that is a very well like i did not expect andy to be that well put together i guess yeah well, i didn't i didn't have any in, uh... but my i have another question yeah what's andy is an aardvark he are is. they known for their running? Um, he, or is Andy a special aardvark that runs? Actually, aardvarks can get pretty quick. Um, three, three, five, eight. 35 miles an hour. 30, 35, that's no way. Yeah, Alexa, yeah, yeah. how aardvark fast is an aardvark? 35 miles an hour. So. Well, those are the Arbarks, can we just speed up to 24.9? No, Alexa says 24.9 miles per hour. Not this one. They don't know me. <laughs> oh, okay. This, he's got, he's like Sonic the, or Andy the Aardvark. Yeah, he gets his track workouts in, so. <laughs> he's faster than the average. Yeah, right. yeah. So, but you, have you been a, like, personally for you, well, here's, a, here's something where I've had trouble, even though I know what the answer is. Like, I, I would go to the Y to work out, and whatever i just enjoyed it so now obviously can't go there so i've kind of used that as an excuse like well the why isn't open i'm doing all this extra work i know that i need to um get out there for somebody in my position i know the answer is just get out the door but how can you motivate yourself maybe to do that well actually so like if you're at home and you have desk job it's sitting a long period of time can be kind of exhausting in a way actually so what, what I would do a lot, like when I had a job that had me sitting for portions of the day, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I am. So, you know, I drink a lot of water to stay hydrated. And every time I had to get up to use the ladies room, I would bang out 25 squats. And if you're drinking enough, you know what I mean? So then it's not, it's not like I'm doing this all at once. It breaks it up. And, or, and then the next time I go in, I'll, Put my hands up against the wall. I mean, if you're at home, you could do it against your kitchen counter or the table you're working at um, and just bang out 25 push ups or whatever it is. Next time you do another set of squats or you get down and hold a 30 second plank. And yeah. before you know it, it's already regimented in your. Head. Isn't that more like it's not even so much what you're getting from the squats as much as what you're getting from reminding your body and like saying, hey, remember, we need to continue to move yes yes and all of a sudden you're you're moving the blood you're getting oxygen you feel a little better and yes. to be honest sometimes yeah sometimes you're you're actually a little sore the next day you're like oh wow you just get a little bit taller you come back to oh it's my there's my pee spots yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that is that's like the I've I've shared with people who do have you know. Well, now a, you've shared it with everyone, so we're. Yeah. So get get your uh, <laughs> room workout in. So, but it it makes it good because how many times do you have to get right. up to pee? You're staying hydrated. Oh, All right, it, it's pee time. It's workout time for twenty. Anyone can do anything for twenty five seconds. So it's not yeah. like oh my god, I have to carve out thirty minutes or an hour. No, it. I have one uh, a question for Andy. Why, why bother putting a shirt on if you're not wearing pants? <laughs> in my in my house, my daughter calls that Porky Pigging it. <laughs> well, he, he, he does sometimes go in the box, but he wants to uh, make sure that he represents his face. There we go. Uh, he's a little self conscious about the. Uh, carpet on his front. <laughs> really? Well, that's not the thing I guess he was self-conscious about. Hey, I'll tell a funny, I'll tell a funny story. I won't name the person, but we, we had a conversation. They're like, man, wow, you know, I've been doing this for how many days? We, this is week four, so, you know, 20 some days. And he's like, oh, man, I, I've been waking up at like seven in the morning, going for bike rides. I've lost oh. 15 pounds. And I'm like, why? What's wrong? <laughs> like this is like this has been fantastic. So I think too, like we can look at some of the positive, and it it could be a time to maybe reset. Or like Tyler's doing, he said you're doing hot yoga every day. That's oh, gonna have an effect. 
It's just regular. But regardless. Yeah. But that, no matter what, you're doing that every day is going to have a positive effect. No, There's no way that it can't, you know? Well, yeah. Well, I can say one healthy decision always leads to another. So, you know. I maybe- will say that I feel like what, the first week of this, I was extremely anxious and stressed out. And then I decided to start working out more just to try to get some nervous energy away. And I feel better. Like, like it does work. I, I didn't think it wouldn't work, but I actually do feel better. So. Yeah, it, it is my number one stress relief. If I don't move, I'm not, I'm not happy. <laughs> what about for some people, you have, you, you have these challenges going on. Yeah. How do people find them if they're interested in kind of joining and, and uh, yeah. So um, the Aardvark Stay Active Challenge, a 20 minute a day and work on your planks for the plank off can be found at aardvarksportshop.com under news. Um, and the, well, the planky thing, we have them stuck here in the yard via a twig that Andy made. He said it's a natural selfie stick. And they're all outside of our yard for anyone who wants to run by and pick up their own. So, um, okay. Is that information that you can find that on the website? That you can't, uh, but uh, you can email me and ask yeah, me. Yeah, we're not going to. Sales at <laughs> Um The, yeah, so that challenge at artmarksportshop.com. The tag you're it, we posted on Facebook and Instagram last night. So, and we want this to go nationwide. So the tag your it thing, like we want people across the country doing it. Cause you know, if I knew where you guys lived, Andy and I would be running there with a tag. I, uh, and, and you and, know what? We'll, <laughs> we'll send you our, I'll send you, we'll send you our addresses before we get out of here. But it is interesting. I, I, I think it's a great idea. I have a security camera. A lot of people do, you know, just outside and I'll have friends. They know I have it. Yeah. So, and they know that it'll record if you set it off. So they'll come by and do like silly things and I'll be left with like some funny videos. So it's, I mean, it's, yes, it's, I really like the idea. It does show that someone's thinking of you and you don't necessarily have to see each other. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. It's just like, it makes you accountable. So why do people move together? Why do they run together? Why do they do workouts together? Because you're naturally going to be pushed a little more. And then that person celebrates you meeting that push or that challenge and then you feel good and it's it's that camaraderie that you cannot you cannot mistake as anything but important so we're all human we're all communal and we all need each other so all right well we'll make sure we want to thank you guys Uh, Tyler, do you have anything uh you want to ask andy before we go Uh, yeah i guess the last thing is uh have you you know stocked up on termites like how do you guys i know in the grocery store our right, digs for you know, that. The shelves are pretty, pretty, pretty empty. But where, where are you getting your uh, food supply? <laughs> Outside. He's <laughs> out in the yard taking care of all the little pests and stuff. But there you go. I swear to God, if I, I don't know where you live. If I find out, and I'm just gonna drive by one day, and Andy's outside digging in the grass. I'm gonna like that's that's it. Like that'll be. Even in the yard, my neighbors are probably like, "What in the hell?" But <laughs> I don't say. That. From another supply, you can still get your shoes. So if you're moving, okay. we are still um, drop shipping shoes. If you email the shop, we'll get, we have all your purchase history on order. And we just want to let everyone know that we're, we're here for you. So now is the time when people's shoes are wearing out. It's beautiful and they want to start moving. Um, so reach out and we'll support you. We'll, we'll find that product for you to best we know how and get it to your doorstep. So Awesome. You know, we want to keep people moving and healthy and yeah. So. I'm motivated. I need to get back out. Yeah. So I will. Yeah, I'll... Give me your dresses. You're totally going to be tagged. Watch All you guys right. look like Jim Thorpe or something. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, I have your email. We'll get back in touch. And thank you for everything. Andy, be safe. Eat some termites. All right. See you soon. Bye. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Bye-bye.